Hey, butterflies. Welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with the me, Mona Co. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. As well as those of you all who have patronized my tea and candle company. As well as those of you all who have purchased my books. Thank you. Links and things for everything is down below in the comments and the description box. So we're back with another ancestor message. So this is bridging off of the last message of what we just did. Um, I was mentioning that there was another quote from Alice in Wonderland that was sticking out to me. We got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Um, now, we're not going to get into the symbolism of what the meaning of Alice in Wonderland was all about and all of that. Baby, that could be a whole movie on its own, okay? But what I wanted to talk about really quickly was the part in there when... Um, she was looking for the rabbit, I believe it was, and the cat was like, um, she was like, oh, I don't want to be amongst, because he said something about the Mad Hatter, and she's like, oh, I don't want to be amongst mad people, and he was like, darling, we're all mad, like, I'm mad, you're mad, like, we're all mad, okay, um, and she was viewing it from an earthly perspective, and so, um, I don't feel like going into the whole aspect of dissecting the movie, but this message is giving a vibe of to get by in this human experience um, or on this earthly plane, you have to have a little bit of madness in you, okay? It makes me think about mad TV, but you have to have a little bit of madness inside of you in order to get through this life and like what it creates, what it throws your way, like you being able to work through certain things, get past certain things. Like no normal person can get, survive this, okay? No one makes it out alive, okay? <laughs> and it gives this energy of from your ancestors of like, some people may try to call you mad or crazy for wanting to listen to your ancestors, talk to your ancestors, talk to the spirit world and things of that nature. And they want to call you mad and crazy, whatever the case is, or just like, baby, you are too. <laughs> we all are, okay? Like we all have in some form of way of like getting by here on this earth, okay? So me talking to my ancestors and working through my ancestors and my spirit guides is no different from what you do over there or from what this person is doing over there. This is just how I choose to connect to the spirit realm is what it's giving. And so it's giving a vibe of like somebody trying to call you crazy, but they doing some questionable stuff, okay? And it's because they don't understand your path and what you're doing and why you do it or how you do it. And so the best way for them to get by or understand it is to talk about you. But I keep hearing that aspect of like, baby, we're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. Like, so you sit here, they're up here calling you crazy, whatever the case is. But the reality is when they say, you know, I know you are, but what am I? Like you have one finger pointing, you have three more fingers pointing back at you. So every time someone tries to point a finger at you, they're really pointing fingers back at themselves and they're only picking out parts of you that honestly relates to them too, okay? So that whole, I know you are, but what am I type energy is really heavy in the midst of all of this, okay? Someone may be trying to call you crazy or call you mad or whatever the case is, but not realizing like, they fucking crazy for what they be doing or whatever the case is. It's just like, baby, mind your own business, okay? Makes me think about the Erica Badu concert where she was just like, mind your business, okay? This is my journey. This is my path, you know what I'm saying? On what I'm choosing to take um, to fulfill within this life, right? And you have your path as well. Feel free to come through our member only live on Saturday. We're going to be going deeper into dissecting her um, her concert and they clone Tyrone. All right. So to start us off, we have the death card with Miss Robinson. So you see the funeral home with the death. 
I mean, not death. Is this one a death or the devil? No, this is the devil. Sorry. When Miss Robinson and the funeral home, she's like the owner of the funeral home or the morgue or whatnot. So that's the devil. Then we have the nine of sticks. And then we have the seven of baskets. So to have the devil at the at the funeral home, the ending of something, right? You know, we were just talking about minding your own business, owning the business of a funeral home. So I don't know why I'm out here. I'm hearing that uh, out here killing these bitches, okay? <laughs> Somebody out here killing the egos, putting people in a place that might be you. Killing other people's egos, putting them in their place, um, reminding them of who they are, okay? Um, you're not above reproach. You're not above other people. Um, guarding yourself because with this nine of sticks, she has a gun and a Bible, okay? So it's like she's protecting herself on, you know, I see it as in a spiritual aspect of protecting your mind, but then also having that gun too. Like, baby, yeah, I may be spiritual. I may be an artist, but baby, best believe I will pop your too if I need to okay and that's what this is giving with this nine of sticks of being protected on the physical and the um the spiritual plane okay not allowing yourself to get played basically yeah and that goes into the seven of baskets the seven of baskets can be a getting played type card okay it could be a it's a Neptune card it's a card of um, you know, being high, being drunk, being in the clouds, okay? Not looking at things realistically. But in this, this is giving an energy of looking at things from a more realistic perspective and not being afraid to bust somebody's bubble if they cross the lines into something that you got going on. Because I'm totally just sitting here that's my philosophy what's up with this devil then the nine of sticks the devil having to protect yourself from other people finding themselves wanting to get into your business trying to cut down what you got going on what you're building and that's why it's important for you to protect yourself on the physical and the spiritual plane. Because, yeah, you're a spiritual being having an earthly experience. So you still have to understand the earthly rules that you're under. Don't be too caught up in your head or in the spiritual aspect with the seven of baskets that you miss out on important things or important layers here on this earth plane. But this devil with this Miss Robinson in the funeral home is standing out to me a lot, especially with this being an ancestor message. Funeral homes is where they process the physical body. But once the body dies, the spirit is gone, which is why the body starts to get cold. And, you know, it's just, it's something that we are in. Like, it's like a soup. I guess you could say in like the power, the spiritual aspect is the power of the suit. And so looking at this double energy of someone harvesting the bodies or the suits of passed over spirits. And as I look at this nine of sticks, I see these skulls on this card. More spirits gone and it's just the physical that's left. But then the seven of baskets, which is all spiritual, is giving a sense of in your dreams. So you may get a lot of dreams or you may find yourself getting a lot of dreams in the next week. Make sure you're documenting those. It's information that's coming along in that manner. I'm hearing that's the one space where it can be infiltrated. That's the one space where you can't be infiltrated. Like I'm looking over at my computer for some reason the light is on as if my camera is on but i know my camera's not on but it's giving an energy of an indicator something to let you know that you are i'm hearing scotty beam me up you being beamed up 
into another dimension after this funeral home experience, after the physical experience, being beamed up to see things from a higher plane and noticing when playing this physical plane or this physical game, like we're all in some level of a game it's giving. Like we're in a physical game, this earthly game, the human game, and then it's a spiritual world too because I can't get away from this gun and this Bible and then the gun is on the same side as the funeral home and the Bible is on the same side as the seven of baskets, which is the spiritual connection, the spiritual way of looking at things. It's like the physical can only get you so far. And this is very, the physical, I think I said the physical, but it can only get you so far. And I was just sharing today in class how, you know, the praying aspect, how all of that is dark energy. Like praying is manifesting through or the hopes of manifesting through dark energy, which is why you close your eyes you close your hands in tight. That's dark. No light can get through. Someone is praying on dead bodies, like bodies that are walking around and they lack a soul. It's giving an energy of soulless people being haunted right now, like being hunted by people who know how to control those bodies. Like they need bodies to fulfill some level of a mission and that's why this nine of six is still standing out to me on this physical plane because we have people who are walking around and they're physical zombies like they don't have that spiritual capacity they're a whole freaking zombie but they can't get you they can't mess with you because you have awareness from the physical and the spiritual. And that's this nine of sticks, like being on guard of what's really going on around you. They can't take the spiritual aspect out of you because you are fully aware of like the body that you're in or the suit that you're in. You had three of baskets. It's like someone's trying to rally up dead souls or dead bodies that don't have a soul to play on their team. But your soul is spoken for. Like your, your body, your physical body is spoken for. And that's this ancestor energy is giving a grandmother a very um, overprotective grandmother energy. Like they spoke, they have spoken for your energy. Like it's given the Passover. Yeah, ten of baskets. You have, I just heard like a, a family of spiritual guides and ancestors who have claimed you. And because they've claimed you, these demon energies can't do anything with you. And that's the energies that we were feeling earlier on the aspect of being mad. Like there are some people who's literally just living this life in a physical plane. They don't have a soul and a spirit or any type of recollection of who they were. They're just here in this matrix. But it's giving an energy of someone, y'all know Cypher from off of Matrix. So like he knew the truths of the realities, but he still, he was all about ignorance is bliss. So he was still all about living in the matrix, even though he know the truth. This is giving energy of someone who knows the truth about the matrix. They know the truth about being outside of the matrix. 
but they feel it's better for them to control the bodies here on earth. That's what they want to do. That's their aspect, but they can't recruit you. They can't recruit you. I need to start keeping a book. I need to start keeping a book of these messages because I feel like these messages align and connect with each other. Your soul is spoken for. You have a soul and a body. They can't do nothing with it. You've already been spoken for. But there is someone who is out here collecting bodies and people for like this army. Then I say an army. Then we got the John horse coming out with the emperor. And then the empress coming out with the big queen in reverse. It's giving an energy of like an army that's trying to remove the spiritual aspects, trying to remove the feminine aspects and keep it masculine. It's like they're trying to hide. They don't want people to know their true power, their true, that true feminine, holy power that they have inside of them. Because the big queen, the empress tried to be in reverse, but I'm turning it all upright. And to have this emperor energy there, as we're talking about someone trying to control the emperor is Aries. And then we have the empress with Libra and Taurus. But I'm going back to this Capricorn because I always say that no one can check a Capricorn but an Aries and no one can check an Aries but a Capricorn. And so to have this Aries energy come out after we've been talking about this um, double energy with the Miss Robinson. It's like it's going to take another spiritual energy to have to check this energy of just like, you know, you're leading these people astray. Yeah, we're going to have to continue this. I'm going to have to get a notebook. If y'all want me to continue on with this one. Leave me some method of like transportation down below. Hmm. It's like someone else who has the same level of ranking as this other person has the power to call them out. And it's like, are they going to do it? Are they gonna do it? As always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you wanna do, period. I'm going to have to journal on this one. I'm about to, for now on, have a notebook that I'm going to keep for these readings because this just threw me into a whole nother aspect. I love you all. And as always, continue to bloom, my love.